Ysoft is helping businesses and their people build better ways of working as they embrace digital transformation and future-proof their workplace. With our manufacturing facilities just around the corner from HQ, we are able to embed cutting-edge quality, flexibility, and security to all our solutions. Ysoft MFX Ultimate Reader is the most universal and reliable card reader on the market today, delivering security, ease of use, and convenience whenever you need it. Let's have a look at a briefcase and card testing demo. The Ysoft Card Reader Briefcase is an ideal tool for the front line. It contains everything you need to successfully present Ysoft card readers to a customer. The MFX Ultimate Reader, the most universal card reader on the market. Ysoft Configuration Cards. Samples of various RFID cards, fobs, and stickers from our portfolio. Various USB cables and card reader mounting. Combined with the Ysoft card reader tool, you can use the briefcase to easily identify cards used by a customer and choose the right configuration for them. Now, we'll show you a quick demonstration of how simple it is to perform card testing using this Ysoft card reader bundle. For a moment, imagine you have a customer who wants to use RFID employee badges to have employees authenticate themselves. You'll have to do an on-site testing of the cards and decide which card reader to deploy and how to configure it properly to fit their needs. First, we connect the Ysoft Ultimate Reader to the laptop using a USB cable and place a testing bracket on top of the reader. The bracket is used to ensure the correct distance between the card and the reader, guaranteeing a successful automated card testing procedure every time. Now, let's start the Card Reader tool and select the Card Testing module. The MFX Ultimate Reader is already pre-selected, so we can click Continue. In case there are more readers connected, it will be necessary to select which reader will perform the card testing. Now, place the tested card on the bracket and start the testing. Here, we can see the result. We can see that the tool identified two different RFID transponders for the card. In the details of the first identified transponder, we see the transponder's name, HID Prox, as well as the card number. The second transponder is Legic Advant with this card number. You can see that for each transponder, the tool shows a list of card readers that supports that technology. You can click on each card reader to see a list of predefined protocols for the specific technology. We know that the customer wants us to read the HID Prox data, so we'll go back to the first result and select a card reader. The customer wants us to read this number from the HID Prox. It's obvious that the number is in a different format than what our reader normally reads. Don't let that discourage you. The tool can help us with that. We'll choose the MFX Ultimate Reader, which is the best fit for the customer. It supports HID Prox and the second identified technology as well. If the customer decides later to read the Legic Advant instead, they won't have to replace the reader. We'll use the first recommended protocol, Protocol 93, HID Prox only, as a foundation for a custom configuration. With a custom configuration, we can add the necessary card number conversion with ease. Don't forget to remove the card to continue. Now we are in the Custom Configuration Editor, and the script there is the content of Protocol 93. It configures the reader to read only the HID Prox cards. That's good, but we need to add a card number conversion. The tool has a new feature that will auto-detect the necessary conversion. This dialog will help you choose the correct card number conversion. It compares card numbers read by the card reader with values expected by the customer and looks for the correct conversion that will work for all pairs of numbers. We recommend entering at least three pairs for accurate results. First, swipe the card and the card number will appear in the left column. In the right column, we'll manually enter the card number that the customer wants us to read. Repeat the process with two different cards. Now that we filled the card numbers, we'll click the Find Conversions button. Below, we can see a recommended conversion. Select it and apply it to the custom configuration. We are now back in the editor. The conversion you selected is now at the end of the script. Now we can test the whole custom configuration to see if it works as expected. The button Enable Testing and Upload will deploy the configuration to the reader so you can test it and immediately see the results. Below, we see the card reader output. We can swipe the customer's cards to see that the output is in the correct format. Great! This leaves us with the desired configuration and we can hand it over to the customer. The easiest way to configure card readers in the field is via the configuration card. We'll save the configuration on the configuration card. Do that in the Actions tab. Here, we can deploy the configuration on the card. The button Write to Configuration Card is disabled, but once we place a config card on the reader, it will be automatically enabled. The button is now enabled, and we can save the configuration to the card. The configuration is encrypted and stored on the reader. Only Ysoft card readers will be able to decrypt it. This provides protection for the configuration as it may contain sensitive data. For example, customers' encryption keys. 
With this configuration card, we can easily configure a card reader. The reader configuration takes just a few seconds. Let us show you how easy it is. The reader is now configured. We can easily test it. For example, with the notepad. In the notepad, you can see that the card reader now reads customers' cards in the correct format. The reader is also configured to ignore other cards than HID Prox. Let's go over what we have shown you in this video. We scanned the customer's cards with the card reader tool and identified two different transponders, HID Prox and Legic Advant. We have used the preset for HID Prox and added a card number conversion. We have stored the configuration file on the configuration card. We deployed the configuration from config card on the MFX mobile reader and tested its reading results.